Oh, look, I initially flagged that we'd be going back to basics and really engaging with the community when I first got into this role around two years ago. Uh, we've obviously been tied up with all things COVID for the past, you know, period of time, the past couple of years, but now, now we've got all of our staff back on the front line, the PSOs and the police. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to reset, to reconnect with the community. And, and we've always done this work with the communities, but we've really formalised this now. We now have local safety committees. We now have community issues registers where people can really flag those issues, both small and large, or, or ones that have been enduring for a period of time or may have just popped up. We can work with them, local councils. We're holding community community safety forums, community meetings, the old town hall style approach and some will be virtual as well in this modern era. But we're listening to people, we're hearing what their issues are, we're addressing them through policing, through non-government agencies, through councils, bringing everyone together who can solve problems. The, uh, we previously committed to a re-energised schools engagement model. Uh, now that we're out of COVID, we'll be back in those schools again, uh, helping uh, in those schools, engaging with students and, and developing that trust and rapport. Um, so yes, and from a visibility perspective, that's an absolute priority for me. I've said visibility in high, in high visibility community locations or, or high population related community locations out on the highways. That's part of the tasking and all of that that's involved in this neighbourhood policing model. Visibility, engagement, listening to the community, working with them and just making sure everyone's safe. But not only are they safe, but they feel safe. Oh, look, I wouldn't say we've had a disconnect, but I would certainly say that over the last couple of years uh, there have been some incidents as well as COVID enforcement activities where police have been engaged with sometimes people on their first occasion um, in a circumstance that we wouldn't want that to be. We really do want to focus on enhancing and building the trust of the community, building their confidence. We can police with the law, but we need the community to be with us to really be able to police and help make the community safe. So we're about enhancing that trust, building that confidence. This is the biggest game in town for us.